Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Profit Minds podcast. My name is Dr. Stephen Kirch, and I'm the creator of the P Profit Minds Growth System, a unique blend of profit growth, productivity acceleration, and business process for scale. Every episode, I interview entrepreneurs and small business owners from around the world with a unique story to tell. You can find this show on YouTube, LinkedIn, Apple and Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and more. Today, my guest is Ashley Shoemaker, owner and director of Indigo Social Media Marketing. And today, we'll discuss how to best leverage social media to grow your business. Welcome, Ashley. Hello, Dr. Stephen Kirsch. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, it, it's it's great to have you on. Um, we've known each other for for a couple of years now, and and I know you do uh, some great social media stuff. But my listeners and and I love to hear the stories of of how you got to where you are. I mean, what what is it that that uh, you know the the twists and turns in your life that that landed you uh, with this social media marketing expertise? Well, that's a lovely question. I actually have a book coming out this year, so you'll be able to read the whole story. But I attribute my success to having a vision and being willing to take risks. I was never afraid of failure because I knew that it would take me, it would make me a better person in the long run. And I've always believed in pushing boundaries, being innovative. I didn't take direction very well. I just did really what I wanted to do growing up. Um, and even if that meant taking a chance on something that I've never done before, and I'm not afraid of hard work and being persistent. And I know that these qualities combined with my passion and my creative senses would have led me to even more success. So that's really what I did. I was raised by a determined single mother in New York. Um, I face adversities of life head on like a lot of people have. And when I was younger, I remember I was dreaming of moving to California and I wanted the sunshine. I wanted the beautiful people. And most importantly, Silicon Valley back in 2011, when I moved was like this huge thing. It still is, but I just had all these dreams. And with my choice as a Capricorn, any Capricorn would do, I took all the money that I had saved up since college, bought a one-way ticket to pursue, to pursue all of my dreams. And never before had I been on an airplane before. Um, I didn't know anybody. Um, I had really very little business savvy other than the college that I took. Um, I was a business and marketing in college. And this was just a leap of faith and doing what I wanted to do. And I did exactly that. And I tried to conquer all of my dreams. So in 2011, I well, I flew into San Francisco first, and then I realized I didn't really want to live there, nor could I afford living there. Yeah. And I have a daughter, and so the schools were terrible. Um, so I ended up settling down in Danville, California. Um, that was 12 years ago. And I launched my first business, and it was in photography. And I quickly rose to international acclaim. I've had over 160 magazine publications, lots of five-star reviews, and I just did very well. And I think the reason why is just because I never gave up. Um, like I said, I didn't know anybody. I had no idea where I was going in my life. I had a little bit of college, but that was really it. So, um, And then I started to notice in 2019 that people that I had worked with were writing reviews and talking about how I help them boost their online marketing efforts, how I help them grow their business. And I've had people crying to me, sending me gifts, and like they just couldn't thank me enough. And so in 2019, I started to realize that there was something, there was a market for marketing, and I needed to do something with, with the skills that I had. So that inspired me to launch my social media program. And by 2020, we had seen growth like nothing else. Um, we're one of the companies that, you know, came up during the pandemic. We, our team expanded 300% with 300, or I'm sorry, with 31 members. Some of those were employees, some of those were contractors. 
all working together for an industry leading 90% retention rate. So we have really don't lose clients unless we just can't help them. Then we don't want obviously them to renew. Um, most of our clients have been in the program for three to four years. So we are very proud of, of where that has taken us. Wow. That, wow. Well, that, that, that's amazing. 98% retention rate. That's 90, 90, not, okay. 90. <laughs> but, but 90, but Still even good. 90%, even 90% is, yeah. is, is amazing. Um, right. so, so what is it that you do that that's so, uh, so compelling that people, they just don't leave. What, what's, how is it that you approach this? With my photography, I would say, I work with a lot of women and working with women in photography and beauty is not always an easy task, but I know what they like. I know what they want. I listen to them. I create a vision for them. Sometimes I hold space for them that they don't even have on their own. And every single time I've never had anybody say that they didn't have like the best experience and the best photos that they've ever had of, of themselves. So I, love photography in that sense, because I can help them. Um, I don't like to seem like I'm the best photographer out there because I'm definitely not, but I know the right angles. I know how to prepare people and I know my lighting. I could go anywhere in the world and know exactly how to shoot no matter what the circumstances. It could be snowing, it could be raining, it could be dark, it could be so bright. You could be wearing polka dots, whatever it is, we will make it work. And I always come out on the on the positive side of really good photography. Um, as for the marketing, the program that we created is for the small business owner. And we're starting to see where our program can help small businesses, but almost into mid-sized businesses by providing them a whole team of marketing professionals. And in the long run, it will save them on hiring marketing teams as full-time employees. So the program that we put together, there's several different things that we can do. If you're just starting off in your business, you can become a consulting client of ours. We'll walk you through how to start your marketing on social media specifically. We'll help you set up CRMs. We'll help you set up all of your marketing like Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, Google My Business, Twitter will help you optimize them, will help you write them, will make sure you look good because of the photography skills that I have. Nobody, all of our clients have the best photography. So with that being said, we can help small businesses. We've created a 12-month marketing program that helps you all the way from brand clarity to logo design to your website design to apps we take over your social media marketing. We help you. We can teach you how to do video. We will have our content creators come out and work with you. Um, if you're having lighting issues, if you're having camera issues, audio issues, we'll have someone come out and set that up for you because essentially we need all of our clients to have really good content, kind of like what we're providing or you're providing Dr. Kirch on this podcast. We want our clients to be able to have this platform too. We want them to be successful um, and create some really good content. A lot of people just think that they don't have anything to talk about, but when we are with them all day, we're like, there's so much content that we can get in one day of just day to day. If we just followed you around in your business, we would be able to learn a lot about what you do, how you handle your clients, those kinds of things. So we've created a program that gets you seen, makes you look good, and we consistently manage it for you. If you're in that top tier business where you don't have the time to do any of these things on your own, we'll take over that heavy lifting for you. Or if you're just starting out and you have lots of time, we will teach you how to do our program. We don't have to do it for you. We have no secrets. Like you could Google it and come up with the same plan as, as we have, but we've, we've made it more efficient. We've made it very productive. We make sure you look good. And we're not afraid to teach people exactly what we're doing. Maybe not exactly, but we're not afraid to teach you the things that we're doing so you can be successful. So you could come in as just a consulting client or you could come in, you know, with a big budget and we take take off, you know, on all of your marketing for that year. 
So that's really what we have developed. Um, once you're in, it's like we don't want one one company for a year. We want them for many, many years. We don't really profit that much until like our second year once we've gotten all of the learning curves set to the side. Sure. That second year is where we really make progress. So if you're out there and you're hiring marketing agencies, you definitely don't want the month to month marketing agencies. You want the ones that have the long programs. Like we're invested in you and you have to be invested in yourself as well. So our minimum contract is 12 months. Um, so we can build that relationship with each other. Yeah. It, it's so important that the person that that's particularly if somebody's doing social media for you, uh, that they speak with your voice, that it sounds like it comes from you. And, and I know that, that's that's not trivial to do. Um, uh, you want, can you talk a little bit about that process and how you said you follow them around for a day? Is that is that sort of typical uh, as to how you understand exactly what it is that they do? Yes. Yeah, so over the years, like most marketing agencies or most companies that have these programs, you have to fine tune things and you have to kind of go where people are going and you have to decide what you're willing to do and not willing to do. So when we first started the program, we were writing for our clients. We were, you know, creating videos for them, doing a lot of the stuff for them. But now it's, and we were making them come to the studio, you know, it was a lot of that kind of thing. But now it's like, we have such busy lives that I'll take my client wherever I can meet them, we will go. So if you're like, Ashley, I'm on an airplane, I land an SFO on this day and I need, I have an hour drive to my office. If that's the only time that we can get your story of what just happened in your business for the last two days or the last week, we'll meet you at the airport. We'll jump in the car with you. We'll have the cameras on you. Nobody will even know, like whatever we have to do to get that content, we are there. If you're comfortable with creating your own things, then fine. You get on your computer, you you set up your stuff, and then we'll give you a script. Maybe you're good at the lighting and you're good at the audio, but you don't know what to say. Our content people will come up with a plan together and we'll make sure that you know exactly what to say. And then we can come out and get some B-roll, which is just footage of day-to-day -day stuff without any voice. We'll piece things together. Um, whatever it is that you need to be successful, we will make it happen. And when it comes to writing, writing is really important to get your voice, but there's so many AI um, devices or softwares that we're using these days. When we talk to you on the phone, when we're on our 90 minute marketing calls every month, or when we're in person, we're recording you, we're recording your voice, we're recording how you are. And that AI helps us create your voice. So when clients, we just had a recent client who we did all the writing for them. She's like, it's really not in my tone. I'm wondering, and I had to look back and everything. And I said, well, actually, this is exactly what you said, <laughs> almost verbatim of what you said. So sometimes our clients don't even realize what they're saying, or maybe what they really want to say is not what is what they're saying. So we have to do some more brand clarity work on that end when we have clients like that. But those are the things that we're noticing. Um, we have a lot of resources that help us determine what the voice should be. We're not just interviewing someone and pretending like we can write for them. We have to use these advanced softwares to really get the voice of each client. Oh, so, so you're you're using using uh, are you using Chat GPT or Jasper or some uh, an we AI use tool? Jasper. Like you use Jasper. Okay, that's one of them. Um, uh -huh. There's a couple different ones. Um, HubSpot's a really good resource if you use them for a CRM. They have some recording things when you're on Zoom. Um, if you're in different industries, I have a client who's a roofing company, and every time they have a phone call, we record. So what we can do with that client, they're fifth generation roofing, and it's really hard to get in contact with them, but they write that check, right, all the time. So I need to make sure I'm getting that content. So what we've set up is that audio on their phone calls. So now I can go in and take conversations 
of what's going on in their industry and the AI kind of writes it out for us. Um, so there's a lot of different things like that. You don't have to think as hard anymore. You don't yeah. have to um, write notes anymore. If you set it up right, if you automate some of these things, you get scripts from all conversations across anything. And it's really helpful for marketing agencies. Yeah. Yeah. I, I use, uh, I use Otter is, is one of the tools that That's I use that one. records, mm -hmm. records my, uh, zoom conversations, my, my, even my thoughts, you know, I'm driving along in the car and I, and I, I want to have a, you know, it's like a stream of consciousness. Um, I can just turn on Otter and, and, and talk and it exactly. will, it will record it and I can put it somewhere, um, to use, uh, later on, uh, in a blog post or, or a LinkedIn or, or something like that. So yeah, those, those automation tools, um, are, are, uh, really helpful in the, in right. that, in that environment. And if you can get to that point, that's great. That's perfect content for what we need. But then who is that team that's taking all of that information and putting it out there into a marketing plan? Who's running the ads? Who's creating videos? Who's writing the blog? You know, all of those. And that's exactly what our program was made for. Great. Yeah. So, so what, what's a good size business for you? That's a really good question. We have anywhere from companies that just have one person and maybe an assistant. We have realtors who have um, a team, but we work mm -hmm. mainly with that one person. And then we also have companies that, you know, they may, I think our biggest client right now, they bring in about 30 million in revenue. It's an insurance firm. I think there's, I'm not sure how many agents, maybe like 40 agents. Um, They've been around for a really long time. There's seven partners in that firm. And we like to niche down to what they need. So here's an example. I have a, a law firm. They are criminal law down in LA. And they have all the big hev heavy cases that they don't necessarily want or need more of those. They have this very small niche that they're trying to grow. And that's with college students younger kids that are getting in trouble that could prevent them from getting into um, the job of their dreams or even crossing a border. Like if you had, if you got caught shoplifting, for example, you may not be able to get across the border because little did you know that little piece of paper or that citation that they gave you was actually a misdemeanor 10 years ago or five years ago. So those little things is what they hired us for. So you would think for a criminal law, we would have this brand that's all about, you know, maybe just heavy stuff, murders and rapes and things like that. But that's not what we're doing. We're out there doing TikToks and, you know, we're trying to get these younger kids from UCLA and all these universities to really click with the brand. And the lawyer, the law firm's brand is like, it's like that mama bear, like my kids um, and not my kids, but for her, it's like, I, my kids made mistakes too. Don't call your parents. Don't call this person. Just call me and we'll, we'll get you taken care of. Um, so that's the brand that we're building for that client. Oh. Um, so we have a lot of different unique brands. We have dental offices. We have a really big client, um, in Danville actually, who has a dental office. Um, so it, it doesn't matter what the industry is. We have limousine, we have lawyers, we have doctors, um, we have esthetician, we have just a bunch of different, we have a reverse mortgage, finance people, um, a dancer, restaurants. There's a lot of different industries. And why I think that is unique is because we see different things in different industries. Like like we will know the industry, we'll learn the industry, but we can think way outside of the box. So if you're a lawyer, and that's why a lot of our clients come to us, if you're a lawyer and you want what all the other lawyers are doing, then go get a marketing agency that only does law because that's exactly what you're going to get. So they come to me because they don't want what everybody else is doing. And that's really what I think makes us unique. That's, that, that's great. Um, so you mentioned earlier you have a book coming out. I do. do you want to talk a little bit about that? What's what what's that about? 
It's going to be about marketing. Um, the first, the first book, there's going to be a series of books, but it's going to be more for photographers because I did all my own marketing for the last 12 years. I'm very successful at photography. And you heard a little bit about my story. I really didn't have anything. I moved across the United States with nothing and nobody. And I just started something. And within the, I think my second, the end of my second year, I was already at six figures in one of the most expensive places to live in the United States. So for me to conquer like all of that growing up, and I didn't have anybody growing up telling me to go pursue dreams or, you know, you could do this or, you know, there's no doctors in my family. There's, I don't even know if anybody went to college in my family, honestly. So for me to get to where I am now, um, it was a big deal. And a lot of photographers I see struggling out there. Yeah. They have a lot of self-worth issues. They have a lot of marketing. They don't know marketing. Creatives typically don't know marketing. Fortunately for me, I have both. I have this brain and that brain. So um, I think we haven't determined exactly what the title or anything like that's going to be, but that's going to be the rough story um, for now. And then I'll probably create books around different industries um, later on in the year or next year, because it's the same process, the same mindset that has gotten all these businesses that are in my program to be successful. But I really love photographers and I think that I can help them significantly if they just heard my story. So that will be the first book. Wow. That, that, that's great. Um, and you say there's a whole series of books. You, you, do you have, you have ideas for, for what's coming what's coming next? I do. It's definitely going to be around the marketing and the starting a business as an entrepreneur for like the mm. first time. If I, and I think about it like this, if, if I were 12 years ago, when I first moved to California, there was nothing like Tony Robbins was like, my guy, right? I felt like he got me motivated and everywhere I needed to be at the right time. And um, there's different networking things that I had joined that got me to where I needed to be. But there was never like, nobody gave me a book that said, Ashley, if you read this book, you can be successful. It probably wouldn't have taken me 12 years. So my hope for this book is to allow people that were in my situation 10 years ago, 12 years ago to read it and be able to be successful much faster than I did. Cause it did literally take me like eight years when it should have taken me like three to five. And if you have a business coach like Dr. Kirch, make sure you go hire them because I, if I would have done that a long time ago, I probably would have been more successful as well, much faster anyway. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. That I, 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 you're you're so correct. I, you know, and and it's not just creatives that have that struggle with running their business, right? It's it, it's almost all the small business owners that I've met. They're really passionate about what they do, and they really they they really know what they're doing, but they have no clue how to run a business. Right. It's it's it's, it's it takes a different skill, and that's really? okay. Um. That's that's why there are people like Ashley to help you with with your social media, people like me to help you with, you know, organizing your business and running it and, and making sure that you're working on the right things when you when you need to do that. And, it, it, you know, your business is really growing. Um, so, Ashley, what has you excited about the future for you and your business? Where do you see this going? I am extremely excited this year because we are expanding significantly. We finally got funding that we needed to, to go to the next level. So we are hiring several more employees this year. We're building the teams now. Um, there's a lot of things that we weren't able to offer in the past years because we just didn't have the staff. We didn't have the resources that we need to have that quality job that I make sure that everybody gets. So we'll have a lot of growth, um, a lot of our own marketing. Fortunately for us, we really didn't have to do much marketing this last four years. Hmm. With the pandemic, I, I really didn't have to market. I think I did one in-person um, seminar. And after that, it was that was it. That's all I had to do. But now it's like there's a lot of other, there's more competition out there. 
Um, everybody thinks that they can do marketing. Everybody thinks social media is easy and they can just jump in and, and do it. So we're going to be out there doing a lot of education. We're going to be hiring. We're going to be, you'll see us everywhere. Um, so we're working on, on that. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to come on your podcast today is because that's one of, one of my goals this year is to be on as many guest podcasts as I can. So when I saw that come in my email, I said, I am there. This is only my second one this year, probably my fourth total ever. So appreciate the opportunity to get the chance to, to speak and, and be a part of the journey with you. Yeah. Well, thanks. I, you know, and, and it's great to have you on. It's great to have people that, that, that I know and, and have, have worked with, um, you know, Ashley's worked with 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 a client of mine in the past, uh, and I know she does great work. Um, so, uh, how how should people get in touch with you? What's what's the what's the best way for them to reach out if they're interested? You can go to my website. It's indigosocialmediamarketing.com. If you're a small business owner and you don't really have a budget for marketing right now, there's a an online program that we created. It's a do it yourself. You can go there and get a seven day free trial. You can email me there. Or if you really just want to get in touch with me without waiting on anything, just text me. My cell phone is 415-310-7817. I'm usually very responsive, like most people via text versus email. It might take me a day or two. I hear that. And of course, so, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm all over. So, gee, there's a shock. Google. A social media <laughs> marketing Google person me. that's on social media. I better have it, right? I better absolutely, be there. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, and, and and that concludes our show. Thanks to our guest Ashley Shoemaker of Indigo Social Media Marketing. I hope you've learned something about how to leverage social media. I know I did. This is Dr. Stephen Kirch of Profit Minds. Make sure you catch us again next time on YouTube, LinkedIn, Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, all the platforms. And of course, I'd appreciate a, a positive review on any of those platforms. Thanks again for joining us.